Hey, my name's Hawken, and I'm a relatively new birder. To make birding even more exciting for me this year, I set myself a challenge to see every single bird in this Birds of Utah field guide this year. With only 11 birds remaining in the challenge, come with me and Jordan from Bright Eyed Birding as we can go and look for rarities and potentially see a bird that I need for my challenge. Woo, sun is just starting to come up. Still feeling the early morning grogginess, but we are out at it. I am here again with Jordan. As always, link in the description for Jordan's channel, Bright Eyed Birding. Got another great adventure today. We're going to look for two Jaegers, a parasitic Jaeger, which is more commonly seen. Still super, super rare for this area, but also potentially a long-tailed Jaeger. It's gonna to be tough to tell them apart, but these are seabirds that are definitely rare for the Utah area. Every once in a while, they'll stop by the Great Salt Lake, which is where we are today. We're here just before sunrise. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm excited for the day. Jordan, you ready? Ready to go, let's get it. Let's do it. All right, we're heading out towards this area. Now you can see Antelope Island's peaks in the background. There's an area where the creek meets up with the Great Salt Lake and that's where they've been reported and spotted. So we're just about there, probably about 20-ish more minutes, maybe 30, and we will hopefully be seeing some Jaegers. Usually solitary, feeds mainly on fish, stolen from other seabirds. Studying up. As we finally approached the water's edge, we were greeted with a few different herons as well as a big flock of gulls. And almost immediately, flying right by our face, was the Sabin's gull, one of the rare birds we were hoping to see today outside of the Jaegers. So this was an incredible start to the day. The area was beautiful even though it was a flat wasteland for most of the way there. The mountains in the background, the light illuminating the various jagged peaks of Antelope Island, and even some of the mountains behind us in the Okur Range. But we weren't here for mountains and landscapes, we were looking for Jaegers. We started to scan through the various gulls, seeing mostly ring-billed California and even a few Franklin's gulls mixed in. Every dark bird got us excited as it could have been the Jaeger, but we were having no luck. Well, we're calling it quits in this spot. We sat here for about a few hours. I'm super pumped up. We had another birder join with a scope. He showed me my lifer lesser black-backed gull, which was awesome. And of course, we got the Sabin's gull too. That was really awesome to see. It flew right in front of us. I got some pretty good photos of it. So two lifers from gulls, which is great because I am not the best at IDing them. So really happy about that. Unfortunately, no Jaegers for us, but we're gonna head out west and go look for some Frugina's hawks now. Maverick pit stop, gotta grab some burritos, fuel up for the rest of the day after the early morning. The strategy for Tuella was pretty simple. Drive down some of the roads, watch the telephone poles and fence posts to look for hawks. We saw many ravens and Swainson's hawks, 
Then finally, after going on a dead end road, a different looking hawk came up and it was my lifer Ferruginous hawk. That is another bird off the challenge list. And we just happened to go down this road to look at this hawk we saw. And it turned out it was the one we needed. Absolutely incredible. This bird is definitely one I'm going to remember for a long time. It just looked so different with its slightly grayish head, its hooked beak, and just such a regal stance overlooking the farmlands and grasslands in the area. Just a beautiful bird overall, and I'm so thankful to finally get a really cool hawk in the lens. All right, we got it. It's still behind me on that telephone pole. Just a beautiful ferruginous hawk perched up there. Can't believe it. I was really worried about that one because those hawks are much harder to find than our normal red-tailed and Swainson's hawks we see all over. But that is off the challenge, onto my life list. Let's go. Well, quick alteration to our plans. Our plans to go look for the pinion jays fell through. So on the way home, we decided to swing through the Lee Ponds area. Maybe I'll get lucky and get that blue wing teal I need. And this is Jordan's first time behind the gates since I have access. I bought the access to all of the areas in the Lee K Pond, so I get to show him around this area. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, just a quick drive through Lee K Ponds. I'm not stopping to film everything, but we've seen some pretty cool species. I got some great shots of that Swainson's hawk. We did see the burrowing owls yet again, which is always awesome and such a treat. Now we're just finishing up our drive, seeing if we can pick up any more birds. There was just a red-tailed hawk flying around that I unfortunately missed on camera. Couldn't get my camera out in time, but still sweet. There's a pelican out in the water that I just showed you. We got some gulls and some great blue herons. We'll see if there's anything else around before we wrap up the day. Well, it turned into a pretty incredible day of birding. We're wrapping it up now here at Lee Ponds, and that is the end of the day. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one.